Question 2. Eduardo invests $1.640 at a rate of 2% per year compound interest. Show that at the end of 6 years, Eduardo has $721 correct to the nearest dollar. Now for this question, whenever they say show that, all we have to do is just solve the question normally and then see if our answer matches with the final answer okay so that's what we are going to do okay we are at the moment we are just going to ignore this value okay so to find the amount at the end of the years using the compound interest we say the amount at the end of the years will be p which is the principal amount which we invest at the beginning it's p bracket open one plus R, which is the rate of interest over 100 because it's it is shown as a percentage and to the power n which is the period for it can be sometimes months or years okay so let me just substitute the values the amount is what we are looking for I'm not going to use this because we have to show that it will be we are not going to use this okay we have to show so we are not going to use this so the amount which we are looking for the amount invested at the beginning of the year was 640 1 plus r is 2 sorry 1 plus r which is 2 percent to the to the number of years which is 6 okay now when you solve this in the calculator you will get 720.74 720.74 and so on you have to show at least to one significant at least sorry one decimal place to round it to the nearest dollar okay so now we are going to round to the nearest dollar which will be 721 okay hence proved now part 2 Manuela also invests dollar six hundred and forty at the end of the four years. Manuela has dollar seven hundred and twenty one. Find the yearly compound interest rate. So in this question, the unknown thing is the rate of interest. Okay, the R. Now let me write the formula first. Okay, we can just see the formula from here. So the amount at the end of the four years is seven hundred and twenty one already given which is equals to the amount invested at the beginning of the year the principal amount 640 1 plus the rate of interest is what we are looking for over 100 to the power of 4 years okay now we will first of all we are going to remove 640 on this side is it is being multiplied with r on this side it will be divided remember what we remember always remove the ones which you are going to use at the end for example if you want to solve this equation first we will divide then we will add then we will uh, use this power and then in the end we, will, we are going to multiply okay so in algebra it goes the opposite way this is what we we will do at the end but when using algebra we will use this first okay so we'll divide this 640 on the left hand side so it becomes 721 over 640 is equals to 1 plus r over 100 over 4 now to solve this what we will do r over 100 first then plus 1 and then to the power 4 so first of all we are going to remove the power 4 which is the furthest away from r okay so on this side it is power 4 on this side we either we can say it becomes root and 4 over here or the other way we can say is is that it becomes power 1 over 4 I like using power 1 over 4 okay so 4 becomes 1 over 4 and then the next step and then the next step is um, now what we are going to do is we are going to open the bracket so it will become 721 over 640 1 over 4 now this is positive 1 on the right hand side on the left hand side it will become a minus 1 is equals to r over 100 now for the final step it will be 721 over 640 to the power 1 over 4 minus 1 this is divided 100 on this side on the left hand side it will be a 
multiply by 100 is equals to R and after using your calculator you will get 3.0240 3.0240 and so on to three significant figures it will be 3.02 percent now part B Carlos buys a motor scooter for $1,200. Each year, the value of the scooter decreases by 10% of its value at the beginning of that year. Find the value of the scooter after three years. Now, there are several ways we can solve this. I will, I will give you the very basic way. Remember, whenever we have to increase or decrease the value of any value, follow this step. First of all, always do it in this way. First, write the value that we want to decrease or increase times bracket 1. Now, if you want to decrease the value, we will write a minus. If you want to increase the value, we will add a plus. Here in this question, we want to decrease, so I will write a minus. Then by how many percent? It is 10 percent. 10 by 100 or we can say 0 0.1, exactly the same thing. Now, if I use this, it means the answer which I get, it will be the value which is after it is it has already been decreased by 10% okay but remember in this question uh, what what they have said is the value after three years so we will decrease this value three times so we can do what we can do is we can write a cube here because this thing will happen thrice okay if you if you are confused we can still we can still do it the, the other way which is a, a bit longer but okay we, we still get, can get the answer okay so if you use this we'll get 1080 and then for the next year again we'll say 1 minus 10 percent which is 0 0.1 which is 972 this is at the end of the second year and then again exactly the same thing multiply bracket open 1 minus the percentage which is 0 0.1 which is 874.8 to three significant figures it will be 875 okay and this question is done